Hi. Hi and welcome back to the story of Boris. Now last time if you remember Boris had a trip out and they all went to the seaside and Boris was playing in the sea and he had fish and chips and he had a great time. So let's find out what Boris is going to be doing today. So Grandad was watering the plants in the garden and when he finished he said to Nana, I have not seen Boris since we came back from the seaside, which is very strange. I hope eating all that rock didn't make him feel sick. I'll leave it for a few days and then I'll go and look for him. All right, said Nana, but don't worry, I'm sure he'll turn up. Well, for the next few days, it rained and it rained and it rained. So Grandad had to stay indoors. But when the weather got better, Grandad didn't have to water because everything was wet through from all that rain. So he decided to go out and have a look round for Boris. Grandad looked everywhere, but he still couldn't find him. So now Grandad was starting to worry a little bit. He told Nana, and Nana then started to worry too. I know, said Nana, let's have a cup of tea, and then both of us will go and have a look round. OK, said Grandad, that's a good idea. Nana went and put the kettle on and made the tea. Whilst they was having tea, Nana said, I'm sure I can hear some music. We've heard music before. I wonder if that's Boris. Grandad listened carefully. Yes, I can hear it too, he said. Let's go and have a look round. They both looked in different parts of the garden and after a while, Nana quietly walked up to Grandad and whispered in his ear. You are never going to believe this, Grandad. What? said Grandad. Shh. Keep your voice down, said Nana. I've found Boris. Come on, come and have a look. Nana and Grandad walked quietly down to the bottom of the garden. Nana whispered to Grandad, If you move that big leaf, you'll get a big surprise. Grandad moved the leaf gently. Well, blow me, said Grandad, smiling. What do you think he spotted behind the leaf? Go on, have a guess. What do you think it was? Well, there behind the leaf was Boris and he was dancing. But he was dancing with another gnome. Who was the other gnome, thought Grandad. Grandad couldn't help but smile. Well, well, well. What's going on here then, said Grandad to Boris. Oh, hello, said Boris. Boris didn't know quite what to say, so he decided to tell Nana and Grandad the story. Well, Nana and Grandad, when we went to the beach and I was invisible, sitting on the beach next to me was this gorgeous lady gnome, and we got chatting. She told me how lonely she was in her garden, and she longed for some company. So we thought up a plan for her to come back here with me. So she stayed invisible all this time so you didn't see her. And when we got back, she hurried into the garden so you didn't notice her. I hope you're not cross with me. No, we're not cross with you at all, said Grandad. Well, said Boris, I've been on my own for 75 years. So now I've found a friend who loves staying with me and we are both very happy together. Oh, I'm very happy that you're both happy, said Grandad. And Nana said that she was very happy too. Oh, thank you, said Boris. And he put the music back on and they carried on dancing. Nana had a little laugh when they saw them dancing. But they thought, oh, well, why not? So they decided to join in and they had a little dance too. So they was all dancing in the garden. Then Nana and Grandad said goodbye and left the two gnomes dancing together and they went off inside to get some tea. Oh, isn't that lovely that Boris has found a new friend and a nice lady gnome after being alone all that time and they're both very happy. Now I wonder what the lady gnome's name is. Hmm, perhaps you'd like to have a guess. And if you'd like to, you could draw Boris and you could draw his new friend. And if you have a picture 
Mummy or Daddy could take a photo and you could post it in the comments. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story and next time it'll be good to find out what Boris's new friend's name is. I wonder what's going to happen. So you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.